Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to unlock the frame rate of Elden Ring on Windows 11. So, Elden Ring, much like Dark Souls and Sekiro, does have a frame rate cap of 60 FPS. However, if you want, you can unlock this and thus, as a result, run the game without issue at higher frame rates. Of course, you have to have powerful enough hardware to do this. So, to achieve that, we're going to be using a tool called Special K which describes itself as the quote unquote Swiss Army knife of PC gaming, which is quite funny to me because Special K is also the name of a popular breakfast cereal in the UK. But of course, in this case, the K is basically named after one of their developers, and I believe their name is Caldidian or something to that extent. So Special K has several features, uh, including a advanced FPS limiter, which is designed to improve fit frame pacing, which as a result can reduce latency and improve performance especially when using the borderless window modes with Direct X11 titles. In addition, you can also use Special K to retrofit HDR for UpGL, Vulkan, and once again, Direct 11 and 12 games, as well as adding support for NVIDIA Reflex for games that don't natively support it. Again, there's gonna be games that use UpGL, Direct X11 and 12. Now, of course, there are other things that Special K does, such as game-specific tweaks, but these are the main ones to write home about. And of course, coming back to the topic of this video, Special K is how we're going to unlock the frame rate of Elden Ring. So to install a Special K, it could be easier. All you need to do is click on the big download button at the top and then just run through the installation wizard. Really, it's just a matter of clicking next, specifying where you want the game to be installed. And once the process is finished, just launch the application as normal. Now, the first time you launch it, you will be greeted by the Special K Injector front end, which might seem a little overwhelming as there's a lot of configuration options. However, to keep it simple for this video, we're just going to be focusing on modding or effectively tweaking Elden Ring. Now, there are two ways that you can launch Elden Ring with Special K support. You can either select Elden Ring from the list here, which is all your installed games, and then clicking the launch button at the bottom. Now, alternatively, you can also launch Special K directly through Steam, which is what I prefer to do. So to do that, right click on the properties of the game, make sure you're in the Generals tab, and then scroll onto the bottom where you've got the Launch Options. And basically in this field here, you want to put the following, which is SKIF, then a space, then an ampersand, the word Command, and then an ampersand as well. So what this means is that when I click the Play button here, it's going to launch Elden Ring, and it's also going to inject Special K into the game. So with the game launched, it's time to use Special K to unlock the frame rate. So first we need to open the Special K game overlay, and you can do that with the key combination of Shift, Control, and Backspace. So from here, under the performance setting, you want to make sure that the frame rate drop-down menu here is set to unlocked. So by default, it'll be set to normal, but we want to pop it and set that to unlocked. Now also take note of this message that pops up where it says for the best unlock results you want to use borderless window mode. You want to configure the refresh rate using the special K display menu and then also set the frame rate limit to use latent sync which basically turns off vsync. So to do that we want to go to the display tab at the top. You want to make sure under the windows style you have borderless full screen and then obviously resolution is your resolution. And then under refresh rate, you want to set to the highest one that you can support. So in my case, it's 165. Uh, yep, let's click yes on that. And then under the frame rate limiter option here, you want to right click here where it says limit engaged. And just make sure that you've ticked the option here where it says latent sync. So basically at this point, the frame rate of Elden Ring will now be unlocked. As you can see at the top right, I've got a FPS counter, which is now saying at 164. Now, before I jump into some gameplay, there, there is unfortunately one downside to unlocking the frame rate of this game, and it is that you cannot play the game online if you do this. Now, the reason for this is because the game uses EAC as its anti-cheat. So in order to prevent you from risking a ban, whenever you launch Special K with this game, it will automatically disable that. However, aside from that particular limitation, the game should function as expected. So let's jump into some combat.
So as you saw with my system, which has a NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti and a Ryzen 5 3600, uh, I have the game resolution set to 44p and with mostly high graphic settings. I do tend to average around the 70 FPS mark, but that's of course a lot is happening at the screen. Now in the overworld, this is kind of average and typical for me, but when I'm inside caves, I do get much higher frame rates. Now, of course, if your hardware is more powerful than mine, then you're going to benefit more from doing this. But in either case, that's it. There's nothing further to do. So in conclusion, if your system has a bit of gaming muscle to spare and you want to run Elden Ring at higher frame rate, then a special kit might be the tool for you. As always, thanks for watching this video today, guys. And if you found it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and also subscribe to this channel to support me and to see my next video in the future. Thanks again. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye now.